Hey everyone, welcome back to channel. Over the past year, I've been following Anycubic pretty closely, and it's been a wild ride with their Cobra series of 3D printers. They started with the Cobra 3, which turned heads with its ability to do eight color prints when paired with the Ace Pro, and all that at a price that made multicolor printing super accessible. Then came the Cobra S1 earlier this year, a core XY setup that brought in some solid upgrades based on community feedback. And let's not forget the Cobra 3 Max, a beast of a printer for those large format jobs. What's cool is all three of these machines work with the Ace Pro, unlocking colorful and multi-material prints. And today we have something excited to share about the Anycubic Cobra 3 V2 combo. They've taken everything they've learned from the previous models and put it into the Cobra 3 V2. There are legit upgrades in here that not only make the V2 better, but will actually improve the original Cobra 3 experience too, thanks to software updates. So whether you're already printing with a Cobra 3 or just thinking about diving in, this update might be just what you're looking for. So what's new in the V2? Quite a bit, actually. The y-axis has been beefed up, from 40 millimeters to 60 millimeters. That added width helps keep the bed more stable while printing, which means better layer consistency and more reliable leveling. The x-axis gets an upgrade too, with better SG-15 bearings and enhanced eccentric nuts that keep everything in check and reduce wobble. Another big win? The nozzle. If you've seen complaints online about the original Cobra 3's nozzle leaking, you're not alone. I didn't run into it myself, but it was a common pain point. The V2 swaps that out for the same nozzle used on the S1, full metal, leak resistant, and with a quick release design for easy maintenance and nozzle changes. Oh, and there's a built-in 720p camera now. You can monitor prints live, record time lapses, and yes, even if you're using the original Cobra 3 with a camera, a firmware update will get you the same upgraded video features. Software-wise, Anycubic's been hard at work too. They've managed to squeeze a bit more build volume out of the machine, going from 250 by 250 by 260 millimeters to 255 by 255 by 260 millimeters. It might not sound like a lot, but that's a 4% boost in print area without changing the physical bed. And yep, it's coming to the original Cobra 3 via update too. They've also introduced regional auto bed leveling. Rather than leveling the entire bed every time, it now focuses only on the area you're printing on. That means faster prep and better first layer adhesion, where it matters most. And guess what? This feature is also being backported to the original Cobra 3. The V2 keeps all the speed and convenience features that made the original popular. It still prints up to 600 millimeters per second and comes fully assembled. Just plug in the hotend and you're printing in under 15 minutes. Clipper firmware features like input shaping and pressure advanced calibration are still here, helping you get clean, accurate prints no matter the material. And of course, it still pairs beautifully with the Ace Pro. Whether you're doing four color prints or going all in with the eight color hub, it's all plug and play. The V2 combo even comes with the eight color filament hub included, so there's no need to print one yourself. I genuinely appreciate what Anycubic is doing here. Not just by releasing new hardware, but by standing by their existing user base. Too often, we see companies push out a new version and forget about the people who supported them from the start. But with the Cobra 3 V2, we're seeing something different. The fact that so many of these improvements, like regional bed leveling, better camera support, and even increased build volume, are being added to the original Cobra 3 via software updates says a lot about how much they value their customers. That's the kind of long-term support that builds trust in a brand. And as someone who's used the Cobra 3, the S1, and the Max pretty extensively, I'm genuinely excited to see how the V2 holds up in real-world conditions. From the hardware upgrades like the improved axis stability and leak-proof nozzle, to the thoughtful features like quick release hot ends and built-in camera support, this machine is shaping up to be more than just a refresh. It's a serious step forward in usability and performance. So whether you're already in the Anycubic ecosystem or just starting your 3D printing journey, the Cobra 3 V2 is definitely a printer to keep an eye on. I'll be putting it through some serious tests soon, so be sure to subscribe if you wanna see how it really performs. If you're thinking of grabbing one, 
Now's the time. The Cobra 3 V2 is up for pre-order with early bird pricing. $259 for the printer alone, $399 for the four-color combo with Ace Pro, $658 for the full eight-color setup with two Ace Pros. I've dropped some links below if you want to check those out, but heads up, the early bird prices won't last long. This could be one of the best value propositions in 3D printing right now. Thanks so much for watching, and a big thank you to AnyCubic for making this video possible. As always, stay creative, keep printing, and I'll see you in the next one.